In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can use GeoGebra to uh, do a little bit of one variable statistical analysis. Specifically, we're going to look at how you can use it to calculate the, uh, the mean and the median. And so here's our data right here. It's actually the ages of uh, 21 participants uh, in a fitness program. And the, the whole point of this example is to show how sometimes one of the measures of central tendency is more useful or meaningful than another. Now, uh, I've opened up GeoGebra, and you often won't see the spreadsheet option when you start. So if you go to View, and then Spreadsheet, so there's my spreadsheet. And nice thing about having the data, data in a table is I can just copy and paste. So just Control-C or Control and Control-V, C to copy, Control-V to paste. So everything's in my spreadsheet already. I don't have to type it all in. Now, I want to highlight it. And this is uh, how you can get to the one variable data analysis. So I'll click on that and analyze. And it will normally pop up with a histogram. And I can vary the width, the bin width here if I want in the histogram. So if I want to make it uh, the bins narrower, uh, narrower or wider, I can, uh, I can do this. Now, uh, I want to get at what the mean and the median R. So see this little summation X symbol here. I'm going to click on that. And so it's showing me the mean is 43.76 or about 43.8 and the median is 28. Um, you see, okay, the, the, the mean is 43.8. Notice that there's nobody from this histogram in that category. So the mean isn't a, a very good representative of what a normal or average person is. Uh, the word average isn't a good word to use here because normally when we say average, a lot of people associate that with the word the arithmetic mean. But average here means a normal person in the group. So the, um, the average isn't very representative of what a normal person in the group. See, this group is actually has uh, two parts to it, really. There's a bunch of young people here and a bunch of older people here. And if you notice in the table here, now it, it's not ordered. But uh, if we were to order the data, you would see that there's a big gap. Like there's nobody in this age category. There's younger people and older people, but there's nobody that actually has an age of 40, around 43.8 years. So the median is 28, which covers this group here. And uh, then there's also this group here. So um, the, the mean is not a very representative number of what a normal person is for this group of data. So that's how you can use GeoGebra to calculate the mean and the median.